So yeah, the recording has started. So good afternoon, everyone. I believe it's uh, afternoon all over Africa, I believe. Um, so yeah, welcome to the week three uh, discussion. Uh, so we use this time to discuss about the challenge. Uh, so if anything that you have been uh, facing and if any, any challenge uh, you have faced so far and any progress that you have made, we can discuss it here in details and we can actually share our screens and work on it. So let's use this time to 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 discuss more of a, a in a Q and A format rather than just uh, us the the tutors speaking. So uh, I would like to give the floor to the trainees. Uh, so who wants to go first? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. If you don't have any challenge, maybe tell us about uh, how you feel about this week's challenge, or uh, how is it going so far? Any challenges? Uh, as as for the whole uh, ten academic experience, you can share that also. Uh, so you're not li limited to only this week's challenge. So again, I would like to give. Uh, the stage for the trainees. Uh, if anyone wants to speak, the floor is yours. Okay, okay. So I I think I'm gonna start calling our names. Uh, yes, Sabi, thank you. Uh, you can uh, okay, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. So first of all, uh, all things are going uh, smoothly and wonderful. Really appreciate for all the team members of uh, giving these uh, sessions really. And also I wonder that uh, on the tenex how the leaderboard and uh, also the performance everything is uh, uh, listed so this will help us uh, to be really see how we go we are going to uh, use our platforms and our sessions so this will be a uh, wonderful for uh, really appreciate on that issue so the on the sessions i think i have a question on the challenge weekly uh weekly two challenge i hope so in the weekly two so the assignment uh, shows us uh on the submission i think week, week two right yes on the drive uh, folder link so here i don't understand uh, really about it so what types of folder uh, that i'm going to share with the folder on the tenex so this is a challenge but uh, not clear for me that's why. Can you hear me? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. My question is it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I'm, I'm going to uh, start with your question about week two challenge. So for week two, we uh, requested you guys to put all the, uh, for the interim submission at least, uh, uh, specifically for the interim submission, we asked the trainees to put all the job descriptions, all uh, by all, I mean the four job descriptions into a single uh, folder in Google Drive and share the link to that uh, go, the Google Drive folder and give us access. So um, let's see. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's better if I share my screen. Uh, okay. You can see it, right? Yes. Okay. So you have four, uh, let's say you have four uh, uh, job descriptions for each department you did, and you put all four into this folder 
which is the let's for porn authentication folder. And then you go back and you click here and you go to share and you go to this share or control alt a and then so th this is already for i think i think it's better if i show you on my own um on my own folder if i have one no nope, pardon so <laughs> i think yeah so yeah so click on share and share again and then you're gonna go here in uh, copy link click on copy link and here is restricted right it's restricted so you go here and anyone with the link click on anyone with the link and then you copy the link and go to the Phoenix platform and copy the link there for the interim submission of course so that's how you're going to submit uh, for the technical uh, i mean uh, for with those interim submission. Now, uh, was that clear? Uh, yes, yes, okay. yes. Okay, and I believe if I'm not wrong, the, your first question was how how does the leaderboard work? Am I right? No, no, really appreciate on that. Yes, it's appreciation. Uh, so you want me to answer it or was that not your no, question? It's, it's a feedback, you know, that's really appreciated. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, I think uh, that I have one answered your question. Then I will make move to Eric. Eric, you can go. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let, let me start by refreshing the, the Ten Academy team and uh, my fellow trainees. Uh, but uh, while I'm working on PP3 intermediate submission, I met with the challenge of working on combining the, the, the data from seven companies uh, in a single spreadsheet. Uh, while I'm working over uh, creating three charts, uh, if possible, you can help me. Uh, yes. To do that. Yes, of course, of course. Can you share your screen so that we can uh, do it together here? Eric, um, can you hear me? If you are speaking, you you are on mute. Ah, uh, okay. Let me present my screen so that we can. Yeah, please share your screen and we can work with, uh, on it to, together. Yeah, do you see my screen now? Yes, yes, we can. Uh, can you open the uh, spreadsheet? Yes, the screen is here. Uh, can you open it? I think my uh yeah, it's open to here. I have. Um, for you have opened it. I think. I think you are sharing only uh, the drive, so you need to share the slide, the uh, spreadsheet. From here, you are seeing the. Yeah, you have the, only shared one tab and that tab is your drive you didn't share the tab that has your spreadsheet so maybe you can go back to the meeting tab and uh, share present something else and share your uh, uh yeah spreadsheet
Eric, we, we still can't see your screen if you are if you have shared it. Or maybe you, you, you can just share the whole window. Yeah, just share the whole window. Yeah, now it's coming. Yeah, now now we can see it. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's do this. Okay. So can you uh, click on empty cell? Um, Eric, yeah, yeah, just click on one cell. Yeah, just click on a yeah. uh, random cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and go to uh, the insert. Okay. Yeah, and then chart. Chart, chart. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's it's good for now. So you you see that uh, there is a data range, right? Yeah. Yeah. Click on data range. No, no. Uh, on the left, on the right. Yeah, yeah. Click on the table. Uh, uh, no, go down a bit. Um. Yeah, I think you missed it go up a bit and there's data range right there yeah data range data range before x-axis yeah yes yeah so click on the table like the square that you see on the right yes yeah so here you can select the data range that you want to apply here so uh, if you want to work let's say you want to work on um uh, let's say uh okay cash on hand right so let's start yeah. by working on cash on hand so uh, click on add another range click on add another, another range yeah okay you can set, set, just yeah. click on another range yes yes so here you can add uh, different uh range so uh let's say you just want to work with cash on hand so uh, uh select cash on hand yeah select that tab that co column uh i think it's better if you select yeah yeah go down 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 yeah, yeah but uh you can also include the cash on hand the sale with the name cash on hand cash on hand or uh Okay. okay for 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 now let's let's work work with that one click add another range again yeah so click on apple the sheet that has apple on it down down yeah uh, go down uh on the bottom there is apple right you are on google right now the sheet name click on apple i am on google yeah click on apple the sheet name yeah. no 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 yeah. the sheet name the sheet the sheet yeah yes yes yeah. and select the uh, cash on hand column again yeah yeah and click on add another range and do the same thing for all uh, all the companies yeah so you have selected so far i mean, i think um, around four com companies so you can add all of them here yep just keep on doing that um we have selected five four yeah this is your fifth one Uh, yes, Collins. Okay, uh, thank you very much. This, this is a very important uh, part. If you can just uh, go slow, slow, and maybe go right again, but I'm also having challenge here. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I will do it after this. Maybe I will share my screen and uh, try to do it. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that's uh, enough just for uh, to try it. Okay, just yeah. add the, this one. Yeah, you can add this one. In, let, let's take a look at the graph. Yeah. Yeah, just click OK. Uh, you don't need to add another range. Okay, okay, add this now. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yes. So, uh, can you go down, please? Yeah. And here, add series. And uh, can you de delete the series that's available right now? Yeah. Add series and add all, all, all things here. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need to add all of them. May I select no. them? No, 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 uh, except the year, yeah. Except year, select all. Yeah, just select them. And just click, click, yeah. Click on them individually. Yeah, add series again. And no, you, you clicked on the same thing uh, you need to click on. Yeah, you are selecting the same uh, data range. Oh. Yeah. I think they were, they were all, all added. Okay, okay, good. Um, can you remove uh year that's the first series? This one, yeah, remove it, yeah. So that's the year we want that one on the x axis. So go to add x axis, this. yes, and select here, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think it's good uh, to select. Uh, can you go up? Yeah, uh, click on uh, column and chart and select line. Yeah, uh, all the, yeah, yeah. So I think this shows uh, better. Yeah, you, you can select the one that's on the top. Yeah, ne next to the bar chart, the line chart. Uh, okay. Click on uh, yeah line chart. This one. Yeah, and click on the next one. Ne yeah, uh, I'll go up. Just this. Uh, um, yeah, this is for smooth. So here, if you scroll down, you can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We can work with, with this one. You can play around with the chart types later, uh, but let's try to interpret this one. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think th this one is the good one. This, this one just one. select a line chart, a line chart, or later a line chart. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, this is not a good uh, graph because uh, because of the way your data is set and the way you selected the data set, but basically this is what you need to do so can you go can you scroll a bit down on the chart no uh, we are done with the ch chart editor go to the charts may i close the dark editor yes dark yes editor. yes 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 okay. yeah can you go down a bit uh that's much yeah, so here you, you can see you don't have data for 2022 and 2023. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because of your data, but basically th this is what you need to do in order to compare uh, the company. So here it's not a good graph because um, the company names are not available. So 
so you need to fix that so here it's just showing numbers uh maybe that's going to be co confusing you need to t change that to the names of the company and you need okay. to find uh okay why the names of the company are not available and i have because you didn't you didn't include them on the uh the data selection so if you go back to the data selection you selected only the numbers right and uh so how uh, google sheets uh, interprets this is uh, the first data or the first cell you have selected is going to take that or uh, it's going to assume that it's the ledger that's why uh their numbers are the ledgers okay yeah then why the, the, the this year of 2022 and uh, 2021 um yeah that's what i was trying to figure out so um, i don't know if it's the way you selected um why, the yeah, data yeah. yeah can you can you uh can you click, uh, right click on the chart and yeah uh um no uh edit i think i want edit okay go to series series yeah you can go to series yeah i'm having problem with these things oh okay maybe maybe uh you can share your uh okay let me find a data set and we can do it together. I think that's better. Thank you very much. Let me stop sharing and it's all over. Yeah, let me, I'm just trying to find a data set here that I can work with. Um, okay. Okay, I think I found one. Okay, so let's uh, let, let me share my screen. Can you? Okay, um, let me just share my screen. Uh, I think I'm gonna work with uh, what was the name? Okay. Um, Okay. So, uh, uh, call Collins. Like I'm, I'm trying to do it again. So, if you guys have any quick questions or you missed anything, just uh, try. Uh, just open your mic and speak, because I could, I can't hear you. Okay. So, let me start. So. Uh, what we did was basically we go to insert, uh, we inserted a chart, and here we have a chart. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, change the data range. So here we already have um, suggestions. We, we can work with the suggestions, but since we want a specific type of data set, let's work with that cash on hand. So. I'm going to select cash on hand for Microsoft uh, add uh, and alphabet add another data range uh, for Tesla add another data range for NVIDIA we have another data range for Apples we have another data range now I think that's all I have right now okay I have Microsoft uh, yeah, it's already selected. It's already selected. Uh, yeah, Amazon. Let me just select this one. Um, yeah, Microsoft. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four. Can I miss two? I have Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla. Okay, I missed the Nvidia and Apple. Okay. Nvidia and of course apples yeah so i'm just going to select the data range 
uh, and let me just add one more which is the year yeah okay i'm going to click on okay and it's going to create uh the graph automatically but i want to have a line chart and i want i don't want the year here so i'm going to remove this one and bring it here yep so here i only have for amazon i think i think the rest are compacted here Yeah, so the problem is the numbers are so close to, together that um, so for my, Microsoft uh, 2018, it was 41,000. And for Amazon, it was the same thing, 41,000. So I think the it's the same for everyone. So that, that that's why it's compacted. So I think it's better to work with uh, another series so let me just uh, remove all series here and let me work with okay total revenue i think it's different so let's work, work with the total re re revenue okay so what i'm gonna do is add series uh, so here i'm gonna select oh sorry sorry i'm gonna select uh where is it yeah data range so i'm gonna let's remove all this and um yeah let's start so i'm gonna add data range um i'm gonna select total revenue for microsoft i'm gonna add another range i'm gonna select uh, amazon i'm gonna go to amazon and select uh, total revenue here again i'm gonna go to alphabet and select the total revenue here again I'm going to select Tesla and select the total revenue again. Uh, I'm going to go to NVIDIA and select the total revenue. And of course, upload. I'm going to select the total revenue. And click on OK. Uh, so here I'm going to, so the X axis I want it to be, um, I want it to be Microsoft in the year. Yeah. So I'm gonna click yes. Sorry, I'm not seeing this the screen again. Okay, uh, is is it not visible? Yes. Uh, I think it is, or is it not, guys? I'm I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's network. Yeah, I think it is. Maybe I just me it's on your end. Can you check that? No, still not showing, but let me just let me let me see what I can do. Maybe I can. Yeah, uh, maybe uh, you haven't pinned my screen, or it's your network. Yeah, maybe it's the network. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me let, let, let me check out and re rejoin again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we have the total revenue. Total revenue. So here we haven't added the names of the companies. So. It's just going to show total revenue. Um, so that's not good, but when you do it, make sure to add the company's name. So for, uh, I think for, uh, I think one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, six. Yeah, so this is the total revenue of the companies, but we don't, we cannot tell which is which because of the naming, but as I've said, when you do it, try to do it uh by including the names on the columns yeah so here for the cash on hand already the name was included so it was very easy but now we haven't included the naming so it's a bit hard but yeah so this is how you do it so for this company on this specific year uh the 2018 19 total revenue was 24,578 and so on and so on and so on. So, so this is more of a stable growth. This is more stable growth. Uh, this has some bumps, but still stable growth. But these two have um, some surge. So yeah, that's how you do it, guys. 
Uh, is there any question or should, uh, do you want me to go through any? it again? Uh, yes, hello, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I have a question, and then uh, actually I want you to go over it again. But uh, you know, right now we are using total revenue as uh, an indicator to be able to analyze and compare the different uh, uh, companies. So I was thinking, uh, is in uh, how do we use? Maybe we want to use up to three indicators. We have about seven indicators for our assignment. So if we're using up to like three indicators, is there a way we can also do that on the same sheet like this, just on one uh, sheet to be able to, at least we have three things we can use to compare instead of uh, uh, using uh, one, or do we have to do them different differently for each indicator if we want to compare them? And yes, please, I would like for you to go over it again. Thank you. Okay, okay, Colin. So, uh, yeah, so this is for one indicator. So uh, I did this for the total revenue. So I'm going to do the same thing for, uh, le let's say, the market ca capitalization and r and d individual. So you need to create three graphs. And on those three graphs, you need to show the companies, like uh, you have to name them. So uh, as I have said earlier, the naming is not right because we cannot tell the companies apart. But here you, have, you will have each company so you can tell uh, which company is which and of course how they are doing on that specific year on that specific uh, uh, financial indicator so you are you are you are going to have uh, three graphs that are similar with this one but for different uh, financial indicators so you can do it on the same sheet or you can do it on different sheets, but the way you select the data is, or with the way you include the data uh, range is the same. Okay, so I actually would have uh, loved to see how it's done, maybe three indicators on the same, on the same uh, graph. Okay, like, uh, okay, like I can do, uh, let's do this like uh, why don't why don't i do uh, a graph for another indicator so that uh, we will go through it again through the process again and uh, we will see how we can uh, do the graphs on the same sheet well, that would be fine sir thank you okay okay um so uh before we do that um uh, Okay, Hermela is asking uh, when trying to add CS, uh, the company's name is not coming up on the year. What should I do? Um, so, like I said, you need to edit, um, you need to make sure to include the names here. So, here, um, if you can't see, it just says total revenue. And you can see it here that uh, it's going to use the first row as a header. If you, uh, if I uh, unselect this one, let me go back. And if I unselect it, you will see that it's not going to have any name. But you can actually, uh, uh, if you know which is which, you can uh, double click on it and uh, you can just name, uh, give it the right name. Yeah. Uh, yes, Teresa. Yeah, thank you. Uh, when I see this, uh... Uh, example the way how I was uh, doing is much different than this. Maybe can we uh, make the series like uh, can we put the company's name on the x axis, the value on the y axis, and also? Um, I think it's breaking up, or is it only on my side? Hello? Hello, guys. Can you hear me? I think he's going to. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, okay. maybe it's on Terefa's side. Terefa, I think your network is breaking up. Have you got me, maybe? Uh, no, your, your network was uh, breaking up, so we didn't hear you. Yeah, let me, let, let me repeat it again. 
Okay. Uh, can we do, for example, uh, can we make the company's name on the x-axis, the value in in, uh, in dollar, in billions, on the y-axis, and also the uh, years on the legend part? Uh, I think I'm having problem imagining it. Can you share your screen and show us what you did? Uh, hello, Turf. Can you... Okay, can you allow me to share it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please do. Uh, Okay. okay. Um. Can you see it, maybe? Yeah, I'm sorry, my mic was muted. Um, yeah, we can see it. Here, as you can see, in the x-axis, there are uh, the, those the values, companies, yeah. the seven companies. On the mm -hmm. y-axis, the value of, this is for the total revenue. And in the legend part, there are, there are years from 2018 up to 2023. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, can you do me a favor and show me the data set, please? Um, can yeah. you show me just so this is for the total revenue, right? Uh, no, uh, why did you close it? Okay, okay. Yeah, I was Sorry. just asking for, yeah, I was just asking uh, for the data set. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, it is on the same sheet. Maybe yeah. the graph. I think, uh, I think yeah. you can select. Okay, can you move the graph? Maybe if it's on that. Yeah, sheet. yeah. Uh, yeah, stop sharing again. Okay, okay. Can you see it? Yes, yes, now we can. Um, okay. Okay, can you just pull up the graph a bit up because like we, we that way we can see it uh, side okay. by side. Okay. Yeah. No, okay. You... Yeah, I, I will get back to you. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's Excel uh, in the card. Yeah. Uh... Can I speak now? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, actually, I'm doing in a different way. Uh, okay. Actually, Tarafa did by manually, but uh, I was just doing uh, an aggregated form uh, all the data in one pinch and uh, insert it into a pivot table in Excel. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, people do that. Uh, yeah, then I will make a graph and also I make in a Tableau and Power BI. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Um, so, uh, Terefe, can you see the problem here? Because um, for Alphabet for 2018, uh, the data is showing $136, but on the graph, uh, okay, I think it's actually showing the correct one, but. Oh, okay. I think 
Yeah, okay. So I think I I don't think uh, the graph is correct because when I see I when I look at the data, I don't see anything above a thousand. But your graph says uh, there is there are uh, so alphabet is uh, one thousand and something on which year was that? I can't see the year, but if you can't see actually the uh, to make it uh, a correct. Uh, Trend line in x axis, there is always to be uh, a date in the timeline because it shows its trend. So, yeah, okay. to, to put uh, a date in an x axis, that's the better way. Yeah, but but the data, the graph yeah, that you are showing right now is not correct because the data in the graph do not align, right? So, you can uh you can take a look at tesla for instance um, the data in the graph are not uh are not close even close yeah so i don't think this is a good graph uh i really appreciate the effort and uh, that you tried to uh a different way but for i think rudolf is just said it uh here on the common box or we are trying to show uh progress through time right so which means which is uh, it's a time series so for a time series it's actually recommended uh, to put the date on the x-axis okay yeah i don't know i don't know where uh, so I can even see 2,500 for Amazon for a specific year, but uh, on the data, there is no, there is nothing like that. Yeah, maybe uh, yeah. regarding this, the color of the graphs, for example, yeah. here in Amazon, the yeah. first graph is for 2018, the next 19, 20, uh, then up to 23. In 23, there is a high amount of revenue for that specific uh, company. The same yes. is true for uh, Alphabet and also for Apple. Yes. So this is what the graph the graph is telling us. Yes, but then the the amount is not co correct, right? Two thousand and five hundred is not available on the data for any specific year, or is it the same? Okay, it's not the same. Maybe I will check it again regarding yeah. the value. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Maybe uh, if you if Abraham can share, then we can take a look at your work. Okay. Um, can you see now? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, so this was uh, individual, uh, like Amazon, no. then I make it an aggregated uh, one by merging into one sheet. Oh, okay, okay. I add uh, one Keep new column, name. yeah, company name, okay. Then I insert it into uh, a pivot table. Yeah, you can hide, actually click on hide. Yeah, okay. Then uh, this is for uh, net profit. I okay. think, is it visible? Yeah, it is, it is, it is. This is the pivot table. Then from mm -hmm. the pivot table, mm -hmm. I insert a line chart. Yeah, um, that's good. That's good. And uh, the next uh, one is the return on equity. Yeah. I choose the return on equity, net profit, and the total revenue. Yeah. Three yeah. yeah. This is good graph also. Uh, you can see the trend. You can see how they were doing on a specific year and so on. So yeah, you can definitely do this one. 
but I think you had to put in uh, more work, right? Compared to what uh, we just saw, because you have to create an aggregate table, you have to again uh, create a pivot table for each uh, uh, in like indicator. But it is a, it's correct and it's a good way. Yeah, and also I tried it in uh, Tableau. Oh, okay. Can you see that? Yes, yes, we can. Yeah. So. Yeah. And also in Power BI. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And uh, since the the data is the same, the visualization is also yeah. the same. Of course, of course. So. Yeah. So now the interpretation is only thing that's missing. So. Uh, just choose uh, one graph and uh, you can submit it. When I say one graph, you can either uh, choose to go with Excel, uh, uh, go the Google Sheets, Power BI, and the Tableau, and just write your recommendation. So thank you for sharing, Abraham. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, uh, we are just trying uh, to uh, okay let me go back uh, so Collins I didn't for forget uh, uh, I was just trying to go through the questions I will get back to doing it again uh, okay yeah Hermela uh, said uh, uh, Kazim, yeah, uh, why not? Like, uh, we still have time, so we can. In the meantime, Hermila said, uh, uh, yeah, so Hermila, task two is included in task three. So uh, after you do the analysis, we only need the, the graphs and the recommendations. So, you don't need to uh, like submit task to individually. So you can just uh, bring the graphs that you did for task two and the recommendation paragraph. Uh, Kazim, if you can share your screen before we move on, uh, that would be great. So is that clear, Hermila? Uh, uh, Bezawi, yeah, uh, just I've said, just as I've said, uh, task two is already included in task three, so you don't have to specifically submit uh, your analysis, but the graphs of your analysis, you have to submit that, including uh, the paragraph of uh, your re recommendation. So, uh, so, uh, no, what I mean is on task two, you're going to do analysis, right? And for task three, it just says uh, three graphs and a paragraph for your recommendation. So uh, you do that, ta the task two is just there to give you guide on how to do the, the analysis. So you're not going to uh, submit any analysis, but you're going to submit the graphs from your analysis that you did on task two and include them in a PDF, including the recommendation par paragraph. So task two is just there to give you direction on how to do it. Um, is that clear? Hello. Yes, uh, yes, Kazim. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, uh, I think I this just is wanted just... to see is uh, is this correct? So, uh, we are not. I'm, I'm not going to say this is correct or not, but uh, the approach is very good because uh, we all have a different data sets, and uh, there is no cor correct way. But looking at your work, yeah, I think that's good. 
Uh, okay. Can you show me the data? Okay. So I oh, just um, okay. So you created uh, you created yeah. A I had to a sheet create for another you. sheet. Yeah. Oh. 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 Does that work as well? Um. Yeah. Like if it works for you, if you if you find it easy, uh, yeah, you can work with, with that one. Um, I think that's uh, how uh, I think Tarefa did, did it, and that's a good way to. Uh, but it's better to know others, uh, other ways to end just to compare which is better for you. But yeah, yeah. you can definitely do, do this one too. Yeah, I think I can just go with what you did for the class now and just try that later. Yes, as well. yeah. yeah, and try to contact with Abraham and try to uh, see how it, he did it so that uh, you can have just uh, different perspectives of how you can do it. But this is also correct, Abraham's was correct, uh, uh, like the earlier that we saw was co correct, Harifas was co correct, uh, just try to see how everyone does it and uh, how you do it and uh, yeah, just try to learn. Uh, I think I believe that's how le All learn. All right, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Uh, Eric? Uh, thank you. Uh, I want to delete that uh, graph of gold and the return of okay. the camera for an effect. Oh. But they are telling me that your, your voice is a bit clearer. I'm sorry. Eric? Yes? Yeah, now, now I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, go on. Yeah, I was saying that I want to delete that graph we have drawn. And they start again, but they are telling me that uh, it cannot be dated. How can I delete that chart? Yeah, uh, please share your screen and we, we can take a look at it. I think that's a better way. Um, and uh, Hermila, uh, yes, they are submitted individually. So you have, you will you will submit task three and task four individually, and of course uh, the, the link to uh, Loom Loom video your Loom video that also will be submitted individually. But uh, as I've said, task three is just one page, task four is two pages, and the Loom video is just a link. Uh, yes, in the Kalu. Do you see my screen now? Yes, we can, but we are looking at um, a video in folder. Uh, yes, in the can you can go. Yeah, for, for the long video, my, my video came out to be like two minutes. Is that okay? Or do I have to lower it down to a minute or so? Uh, so yeah, the, the instruction says the uh, one minute to a minute and a half, but two minutes is also okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, Eric, can you share? Or yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we can see it. Okay. What was the error? Yeah. I want yeah. to delete this this chart and this chart again. Uh, click that double click on it okay can you go set up i think the way you selected the data was wrong i believe uh let me see yeah go to setup um click on the data range uh, go up and click on data range i think maybe something was wrong there yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it seems okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I think. And you could click on the first one. The first one. Yeah, no, no delete, click on it. Yes. 
uh, okay, delete that one. Yes. And uh, add another range. No, click on add another range. Mm -hmm. Yes. And select uh, a year uh, on the you on your sheets. Select the years. Yeah. Maybe that's uh, select the years, all the years. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you click? Without selecting the typo. Yeah. Yeah. Can you click OK? And yeah, there you go. So the graph is complete now. But I think it's still mi missing 2018 and 2019. Um, and the year to still be a Yeah, you can uh, change that one uh, on the setup. And you go down. So you didn't select the name of the the name of the um, the columns. That's why you are ha having problem with the names. So you just have selected uh, starting from the numbers, right? Yes. Yeah, that's uh, what's wrong with uh, the naming. Do I have to start from from here? Yes. Yeah, uh, try that one, and if you still have the problem, uh, maybe we can have a session. Yeah, but it's not going to work uh, right now because you have to select for uh, for all the data ranges, not just for this one. You have to remove all the or uh, like everything starts from B four, right? B four up to B nine. So you, everything starts from B4 up to B9, right? You can change that. Uh, you can uh, change B4 to B3, and it will, uh, for every data range, and it will correct it. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Um, no, uh, like you have to, uh, okay, you have to, like, I think this is a better way, like, you have to delete all the data ranges that are available right now, and when you select, make sure to start from the uh, names of the columns. Yeah, delete all, and uh, try that one, and uh, I think it's better if I share my screen and try to do another chart in the meantime. Yeah, can you stop sh sharing so that I can share and and then uh, try to do what I've said and uh, get back to us. Okay, Eric. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, okay. So let me just go through it again, and uh, I think we can. Okay, you can see my screen. Uh, yeah, so let's do for um, the net profit, I think. Yeah, let's do for net, 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 net profits. I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to the charts. And here, like the same thing, I'm going to add data range. Um, so for the first one, I'm going to add the range. So Eric, if you can see, I'm going to start selecting from here and down, add another range. Um, so I'm going to do uh, for net profit, I'm going to select net profits and another range. I'm going to go to Amazon net profits, uh, yeah, another range. Let's go to Alphabet, Net Profit, another range, Tesla, Net Profits, uh, another range, NVIDIA, Net Profits, another range, and Apple, 
net profit and as a rich. Uh, yeah, I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think we can remove this one and click in OK, on OK. And let's change this one to smooth graph. And yeah, here we can see. So here it is a negative because on the first year, Tesla was losing a lot of money around uh, 976 billion. I don't think this is a correct uh, figure, but it was lo losing money. That's why we have a negative uh, value here for Tesla. So the blue one is for Tesla, but yeah. So here we have created uh, another graph. I think my mouse is not good. Yeah, so what I can do is uh, I can sorry i can copy this one or take a screenshot of this and paste it on uh, my doc file and yeah do my interpretation and my recommendation there so was that clear uh collins and everyone yes this one this one is clear okay good good uh, what about Eric? Was it clear? Yes, it is clear. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Kazim, uh, can you do a cap of how to submit? Um, okay, for the final submission, you're going to do three graphs, right? So, here I have done two graphs uh, but i have done for total re revenue and the net profit uh, but for you guys you have to select the actual uh, three indicators that you want to include so after you make the decision on which indicators you need to include you're gonna do the graphs you can do it uh, by this way by um, I think what we have seen earlier by, by Kazim's way or anyone's way. Uh, but what we need is the graph and make sure the graph and the data are in line. After that, you can take screenshots of your uh, graphs and copy them and paste them into your doc file or your own words or anything that you are currently working with. And after you copy and paste your uh, doc files, uh, or, or your charts, on your uh, document, you're gonna add a one paragraph uh, recommendation to your boss's uh, sister. So, what to include in those in that paragraph? We have already given you instructions on the challenge do document. So, make sure to go through that one. So, that's going to be all for uh, chart um, task three. So, uh, try to do all this in one page. And for task four, you're gonna do. I think it's already. I think it's uh, already uh, like detailed on the challenge document. You're gonna just go work, work through your colleagues into how on how they can use uh, LLMs for searching. So what to include on that uh, content is also specified on the challenge do document. So ma make sure to include those. And the third, which is optional, in the third submission is uh, a link to a Loom video. So on that link, you're going to do a video, a short video, which is a minute long or a minute and a half long, where you walk through, uh, you go through how you can sign up for a specific LLM and how you can write prompts and how you can search. So it's just a short uh, Loom video. You can speak in it uh, by showing, but make sure to uh, do something that you can actually give to your colleagues or to your friends who doesn't have uh, an idea of how to use AI. So just imagine it as a real scenario and try to do it that way. Yeah, great. Uh, okay. I think it was a good session. Uh, any questions, guys? Questions? Or is it clear? Is everything clear? 
and I see some thumbs up if everything is clear. Okay, good, good. Okay, guys, thank you for joining the session. Uh, always, anytime, anytime. Uh, uh, yeah, let me just start the recording. And thank you for joining. Have a great day, everyone.